So today we're gonna do a baby bridge again, mini one. Who was my Kimura trap class? Okay, so now you know everything already. I'm kind of shooting myself in a leg because this is what I teach mostly, like hawking and baby bridge. So if you kind of, you already know the answer. So um, uh, I hope I don't kill my own classes, you know, people, ah, yeah, it's baby rich again. So, um, and baby rich is, I'm, I'm after structures, and the structures are weird because they give, let's say, answers, one structure give answers to 10 problems. And that's why I'm so obsessed about structures. Because baby rich is a underhook downside back survival. In a underhook topside, I do hawking. Underhook downside, I actually do a baby rich, a mini one. Um, mini baby bridge is a Kimura trap defense, what, half of that because the you know, other part is hawking. Uh, Tarika Plata defense is a baby bridge, mini one. We can test it if you want. Um, so side arm triangles, side chokes, we call them side chokes. Um, what else? Uh, Dars, early Dars escapes is a baby bridge, mini one. Uh, when I play side, uh, side corner, like baby bridge uh, towards you in a side control bottom. So that, uh, what else? Uh, Tarik Plata and also Parata Plata. If you know, Parata Plata, really weird submission to defend. Half the answer is a, we're looking for other half actually. Half the answer is a baby bridge. And um, so we have trouble like when it's already on, we have to roll, but mostly early answer I can do it also is a baby bridge. So, and the, those structures are giving the answer and that makes also defense easier and more sexy, I think because a lot of people don't want to spend time doing defense because it's boring, maybe it's um, hard. If you, if you have all the 10 attacks, you need 10 defenses, then you usually lean towards attacks because they're more fun and the defense seems to be harder. Uh, but universe has built it this way somehow, uh, that you have 10 attacks and, uh, and then you're or, or also, I guess, winning when you're attacking. But defense is weird that I have lesser things to get good at, but I'm getting crushed. Okay, I'm under the fire, but I'm le I have lesser things to get good at. So equation is weirdly balanced. And um, because upper body defense is very well, very not well studied, so that's my obsession, because otherwise I would quit jiu-jitsu, because it's kind of boring. I've done jiu-jitsu 20, 22 years, so it's still the same goddamn knee slide, you know, kind of bored of it. So this is like my research that keeps me ticking, you know, and go after stuff and figure out. Weirdly, leg locks are a lot of studied, actually. It was less studied and then it's just everybody th thinks about them. Upper body is still, like, you can't find very information about it. Like really like systemized, timing-based, boop, 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 just information about it. Everybody has their things, but show me the system, example. Anyway, so I will, uh, I will let you do again the baby rich mini one. Um, actually, it's a bad name because we can go even more mini. <laughs> so, but that's what, how we started, and so in, in the future maybe I change the name. So, uh, don't never accuse me of changing my mind. Yeah. Oh, I did two years this because I was a turtle guy, and uh, 2017 I did a turtle toes on a mat, and then we found because it was an elimination diet. Oh. Bit, because we didn't understand seal feet or toes, there was both around, so we did just toes. And then we found out where actually seal fit works. So now we do both toes when we're pressuring opponent and seal fit when somebody's really laying on our hips. And then some people are always like, ah, oh, you two, two years ago you taught this. I was like, yeah, well, I changed my mind. Now we know more. So, and that's, I think, should be constant, changing my minds. And that is the constant in time, yeah? Not getting stuck in time. Uh, anyway, so baby rich. So we need this, yeah, again. Turn as much your toes are a mat because you get more friction. Sideways is the bad friction. So you need to be on your side. This is side choke coming here, uh, arm triangle. And then it's weird that I cannot explain it, but it just works. Sometimes we do this uh, against the collar chokes from the back. And because the attack is coming from there as arm triangle, we push it down. So they can't really squeeze that place, okay? So, but the structure seems to be the same. Arm and like, lean up, crunch and really be like as vertical as you can be, yeah? So that's the structure and then you can go left side, right side. And uh, uh, you know, we have a baby rich, hawking, running man, turtle, panda, all those things. And I can really explain most, let's say 99.9, .9, whatever. And most of stuff that happens in the bottom and about survival. So um, go around, pretend you understand, yeah, always. Uh, 30 seconds, a minute maybe, I put the timer on and then just 
uh, move, feel weird, come back, and then we put the arm, arm triangle there also. Okay? So go around, go out, don't clap. Just one minute and try the baby bridge, mini one. And think about the yeah, arm triangle coming in, pressing shoulder down. Okay, stop, Irene. Now you know everything. Uh, so, uh, also, uh, baby bridge, mini one, is a Z guard and also open guard, by the way. If you are, if you watch Thomas, John Thomas stuff also in the internet, he's a pretty, pretty good guy. <laughs> so he plays guard like this. Understand? So that's the baby bridge pressure actually. So actually, we can go, we can go full, we can go in. This is a Z guard, by the way. You can use the same structure with Z guard head up. It works wonderful. This arm is unpinnable because it's this. This is the way you get pinned. You know the problem always. This is you can't pin it. And you have the pressure and nobody can grab your head. And pressure is always there. And if you go up, this is also open guard with a knee in. I think you have uh, with a crab right stuff, you use that knee again. So it's actually like a lot of interesting places. Uh, so the pressure. So it's not only the fence. Uh, I'm usually was not a guard guy, but now I'm guard guy also because we understood certain structure and sideways guard that's actually also there's less information about it available how to play at contactless and very early contact ones. Anyway, so let's do arm triangle. Is my usual partner Francesco here, no? Yeah. Ah yes. So so arm triangle. It's just it's super easy, yeah. It's always bad to say super easy because it's not that. Yeah, so that's the arm triangle. You understand whatever they want, I take it away. So squeeze, connect your arms. Squeeze. It's really weird to do arm triangle here, yeah? I know the gee guys go, what about the Ezekiel jokes and stuff? We might cover them because they want this. Yeah, so what a version of it. So we want opposite. Also in the video, the yeah, Club is in action video, uh, is a hawking one. So if they go, I go here. This is armpit, this is elbow, and I kind of snap his head down all the time, circling. And if he gets the elbow up, this is today. Yeah, I'm keeping it down. You can grab, there's YouTube stuff, and you don't have to. If you feel, feel which is better, this or this. Usually this is more better, and you just stay here. Think about this gives you pose to sit up, if you want. And so just survive. And they can squeeze, thank you. So they can squeeze, feel, you don't have to do the hooking one. I tend to teach less these days in the camps because then you get more success. Also, we have more time to blabber about one topic. And if you want the other half, yeah, this is a hooking, is just watch the YouTube video. And uh, we'll see how far we go because clearly there's going to the knee section and everything else. So, uh, baby rich, don't do the arm triangle if they're in the wrong position. So, fix their position, uh, help them. And only after that they fix it, they deserve to be a uh, arm triangled. Okay? So, and then feel it. Uh, go with certain strength. Feel how you would beat it. Feel the bottom arm, what you would do. And just, uh, it's that easy, just cancel everything. Uh, so, try. Uh, give you like three minutes. Timer, go. Don't clap, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> The, the bad part of teaching this, that's why it maybe... I, I think I taught it in Iceland, but then I chose to do less. So, you have to put your arm through, yeah? So that's the... You need it for arm triangle. I know you want a harness, your seat belt, whatever, you want to take the back. Also, this is a back defense, by the way. I play this, if you roll with it during the week, I play this, you're there, I'm here. I play it also as a side control bottom turn away. And it's totally fine to turn your back. Don't believe those mantras. If somebody said, don't turn your back. Totally fine. You have to have both. Facing them, facing away them. Yeah, facing away from them. So, and turning your back is sometimes also an option when you can't turn in because you can't stay flat. Flat is usually a very miserable place to be in a side control bottom. So, what we have, I usually. So, 
I really need your arm to go through, like an arm triangle, yeah? Go back. So, go through. I need this arm long. And if this elbow gets up, everything gets kind of harder, yeah? This happens then. So I really had that baby bridge pressure, go. That keeps me there. And then we also go there when they start to overcommit, push a little bit, this happens. Yeah, because they, they because the kind of the position is built this way, because it's, it's like a arch, you know? And they push me up themselves there. And then, you know, I have my turtle stuff to do. Uh, different peak outs and whatever you want to do. But, do it again. But I really need that elbow. If I give this, go. This is already a different situation. I'm not going today that deep, yeah? Go back, so go. Really keep the elbow, so this arm is really short. The more you give them, it's like giving underhooks away. Don't give deep underhooks away. That means you're in trouble. So have a baby bridge, squeeze, because it's very narrow place now, go. Go, go, squeeze a bit. Don't push me to the knees. Because I know some of you want to lift this elbow, so you're going to sort of lift this, and that means I go. So you kind of wind me up for that. But really, so your job is to actually make me flat. You want to put me here, this is where you can finish something, so that's why I have turned. Go, try to put me flat. The whole baby wrist keeps me there. And also later, not today, you can watch the video, put me flat. Then hawking happens. Because, thank you. Because uh, putting me flat need meets, um, they need space. They need to pull, pull, go away and pull me there. Go away, pull me there. And that allows me to go to hawking. Otherwise, if I go baby bridge and hawking, I do this to myself. So it has to be this. And when they pull, I move away, I do this. Yeah? So, but it has to be like arm deep, arm triangle. So, an elbow in. So that's what I mean, the structure is there. And it takes a while to get that structure. But it's, it's that detailed, and Francesco has really said, it's very high resolution, yeah? So, kind of like 8K or whatever, yeah? So, it needs to be that elbow has to be down, so their job is to go there. And the more you let it happen, the more trouble you are, the more deeper, but it's more fun to be also in deep chokes. That's usually what I do. It's kind of boring, so I give people a lot. And then I also tap sometimes, but it's fun to be inside submissions, because uh, those greats before us, have said that the point of Jiu-Jitsu is to be comfortable in very uncomfortable situations. And it doesn't get any more uncomfortable than being inside submissions and feeling comfortable, yeah? So that's kind of like I'm living the true spirit of Jiu-Jitsu. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm trying to build also a system that you can just take. Because everybody, like, in a higher level, you have certain, like, tricks you do in a side control, side choke, here, there. But very few people have systems, like, Early timing, late timing, middle timing, and just everything figured out to, against all submissions. So that's kind of my perfect goal, but we'll see. Maybe I'll reach it in my dying bed. So, so uh, baby rich, fix it. Uh, use each other to fix the structure, and really like, give them all the success, and then make it harder, yeah? Okay, so uh, five minutes, let's go. Don't clap. You're so programmed. <laughs> So, uh, so I don't know how to say it differently, just keep your elbow down, but when I go around, I don't know, half of you, whatever, just elbow is up, and then you get in trouble. So, and then you deserve it, yeah? So, so this is already bad, yeah? So they should try go to do arm triangle when my structure is like this. And then they have to figure out how to make me flat or go to turtle. But I think I have to show the turtle one, just go into turtle. It's not anything fancy. And even if you were in Sven class yesterday, we did some, some of the peak outs there. So it kind of correlates with Francesco. Mr. Francesco. <laughs> yes. So, uh, it's still elbow, go. And if you have hard time, first of all, it has to work against your own size. Yeah? If somebody is 20 kilos better, uh, bigger, and then everything changes, basically. It's like you have to do faster, escapes have to be faster in any sports if somebody's that big. So, wait. 
So really start low, elbow is down, and if they push it, so fight it, don't, so go down triangle. So I really have to keep it there. And now if they do this, go, go, see? And now I travel. So they should be unincentivized to do this because I got a turtle. They, they don't achieve what they want to actually achieve. So their goal is to basically make me flat, go, make me flat. So here, and then also this happens, and then they can dig to arm triangle. Because most arm triangle finish are from the back, I guess, yeah? So, and if they lift now, what you can do? So if they pressure, pressure, see, go back. My whole body lifts with it. I don't let, go, I don't let this happen. So if they really lift it, see, they push the same structure. I'm still keeping my head up, and now I'm moving my butt away from them, and we have that. And yeah, you can go YouTube, you know, but don't get your hopes up here, like all the YouTube stuff, because it's wrist locks, this, that, taking the back. If they have any skill, they will pull guard, they will go away. Uh, if they don't know what it is, maybe first time you get it, if they're adapted, wishful thinking, yeah? So you always have to think like, what is most likely to happen against the adapted opponent. And then kind of YouTube options just slimmer, yeah? But uh, always like, not because, not against the beginner, but who's adapted, what's their most likely reaction, and what I have to prepare for, okay? So, and I would say just get the turtle, stay there maybe. Maybe you create a neutrality, both of you just go out. Maybe they jump on you in turtle, stay there, who cares? That the uh, objective is to escape the arm triangle. And if you're in a turtle bottom, wonderful place to be. If you don't know, I'm the guy, the guy that can teach it really easily. Uh, and uh, just, that's, that's good. They don't have to escape fully. And that's also like a pipe dream. A little bit that uh, you, you think that I, I, I'm in side choke, and then you escape fully to the neutrality. Or even take over. Like, you know, the peek out they did to Francesco, and then end up in top even. You're in a submission, so think about this. Uh, you're in submission, they're here. They have to make a mistake, so you escape the submission. And now they have to be still doing nothing, so you can get ahead. Usually this happens that maybe I escape, yeah, yeah they still dominate, but I, 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 I escape the submission, but maybe end up in turtle bottom, so they still dominate, but I'm not out yet. It's very, very, Wishful, yeah, thinking that you escape the side control, side choke even to neutrality. So uh, I'm also teaching to manage your expectations because this is how you feel less, what's the word, less uh, depressed, yeah? Because otherwise, if you teach a technique, okay, get to neutrality, or even get to psych uh, total top, but when the fight happens, it won't happen anymore. So you think it's your fault. But maybe the technique is messed up, actually. Maybe it was too long, combination against a still opponent. And in a sparring, nobody stays that much still. Okay, so expectation is just survive the side choke, get out, and everything is good. Side control bottom is good. Turtle bottom is good. Everything is very realistic, what should happen to you. And you should be happy you escaped. Francesco, also, one more time. So we can do this if you want. So their objective, so elbow, yeah? Their objective should be make you flat. And that's the baby bridge structure, yeah? All the knees and everything. The more you are here, the more it happens more flat. So the whole structure is turning away, go. And then, you know, also hawking happens and then turning this way, baby bridge, kicking them in a butt and wrestling with them. So, but we're not going there. So, so just test that you, it's very hard to make them, make me flat, yeah? And if the space is there, stop. Then you need, okay, in the future, I know what to add there. Well, not today, okay, go back. So, and if they push up to get rid of this, just go with whole body. Yeah, kind of like a semi-invert position. And then you can grab, you can grab the elbow, you can grab the wrist, and then just, you call it tellus. You do this, yeah? And then we'll see what happens. And you're out or, you know. But think about this, thank you. This ending also being unrealistic a little bit. And because we don't do scramble drills and stuff, what actually happens. Okay, so test it. Try to put them flat. Keep the elbow. Don't start already here. Then I can't help you really. Yeah, and you're not listening. So here, if they lift, all body goes. And it's a really invert move. So go. Yeah, you're here. Yeah, And then you do whatever you want to do. So try it again, five minutes, then we'll see what happens. Because in a hockey,
thinking that I do this, but then I also... It's a limit of one hour uh, class that I can't do jab and cross drills, because then I have to teach you hawking, so that's why I'm very heavy on teaching structures, movement patterns. Um, we call them like Jado Jiu Jitsu, yeah? Um, so if you know the Hawking and Baby Ridge, I have super easy time to teaching you. Because otherwise this all energy goes to teaching you what the Baby Ridge is and what the Hawking is. If you know it, I can just put that uh, structure into equation, just answers are coming right away. And uh, you learn much quicker. It's like, you know, like a boxing. I'm not a boxer, by the way, or a boxer. Um, just coordinated well, I've done some. But if you don't spend uh, like time on footwork in boxing, and then every time I have to teach you again, you know, pump, pump, where, the, where, the, where your leg has to be. But if you have done, you know, drills, you know everything, how everything moves, then I can teach you jab, cross, and hook really easily, and because you're always in balance. Yeah, because you, whatever you punch, you throw, you know, you're always, you're always in balance. So after you spend this, I can teach you every combination you want. Other way, if you don't spend on this time, then every time you learn the combination, you have to spend time, okay, where's my legs, where's this? It takes so much time. So we have, that's why we have structures. And in boxing also, you know, you have that structure, you have that, you have certain side steps, you learn them, and you just put them into equation, it just work. So we have running man, walking and everything. So we just know them already, and then solve a lot of things with those structures already. So I'm really, really picky about learning the structures. Just makes my life super easy. And then you're not learning 10 new things all the time. You have those five structures, and you just have different ar arm configurations sometimes, but the structure is the same. It accelerates your learning uh, a lot. So, and by the way, uh, this is my burden to prove, but yesterday we had a brainstorming with Dennis also, the leg lock guy, so it seems to even baby bridge is a leg lock finishing position, yeah? More, so with different outside and inside he looks. So that's my agenda, kind of. To like, because leg locks at the moment, I'm learning leg locks, uh, how to finish them, mechanics or even defense, just fine. Some try to also maybe systemize them differently if I can. I'm not cocky enough to think I can, but I have to try. Uh, but it's for me, as example, it's very confusing learning heel looks because I know 10 different finish for outside heel look. It just makes my learning like so like inefficient because when I see videos and stuff, DVDs, people talking about it, it's 10 different ways. It's like, God damn it, you guys, you should figure out among yourselves what's the early, what's later, you know, and then I can learn it. And it's also inside Helux. There's all kind of different ways to do it. Some put the, some you know, on the shoulder, some put the shoulder on the mat, and it's like, it just makes learning, for me, confusing. So that's why I'm like, try to systemize it with postures, and then actually we, I found that uh, like baby bridge is the same heel looking mechanism I can do also against outside inside heel looks It's kind of strange So it's kind of my burden of proof that can we start with this and then we branch out because there are always exceptions in a higher level Everything is gray. Yeah, but we start you know in the math if you're a math guy everything is in gray in the end They actually don't know a lot of stuff, but in the beginning we learn it's pretty simple. Yeah in physics everything is works but then if you go high level physics like well, we don't know actually anything, yeah? Because it's so messy there. But for us, it's simple. So it has to be a more simple beginning, I, I, I would think, for me at least. So, uh, what else? Uh, somebody just asked, and maybe this helps you also. You can do, if you, are, if you have a hard time keeping your elbow down, grab. Yeah, that's why uh, before the baby reach we had, I couldn't explain those escapes. You know, people do this all the time in YouTube, they grab and it's hard time to finish. So I always say posture and then add the arms. Not like you're messed up posture and then you do everything with arms, they get tired. So think about also this if you have trouble. So you can lock also if you want, do this. They have actually very hard time you know, freeing your arm or just one arm and feel, I don't know yet, I think this is stronger. Yeah? This is more like opens the elbow that they want. Yeah? So this seems to be better and then you lock the fingers. And just also you can keep this. Uh, feel this, can you start to move actually? If they start to dig under, Francesco? Because you, they know now that pushing me up leaves me to turtle. They're maybe less incentivized to do it. If they really wanna dig the arm uh, uh, deeper, they have to go lower a bit, see? And that helps me to sit up more. Because the angle is, 
here, they don't have to go lower. They can just go, go back. But if the elbow is good, they have to row really kind of low to go deeper, deeper, see? And then all the YouTube stuff happens. Yeah, so uh, this is, thank you, this is exception, I think, and people start to go dig deeper. So we should have pressure or we should have answer for everything. If they push us, yeah, turtle. If they make us flat, we go hawking, yeah? And if uh, they go under to dig, because the angle is better, to dig deeper, that means you can sit up. And this structure is really easy to sit up. Just elbow flare, get up, you can go there up, or you can build your base more there. So you figure it out. So uh, play with that, give them success, make it harder. Uh, keep it in side choke, don't go for what about the seat, but I take you back. Um, don't go there at the moment, and play with that, make that clear. So make them flat, push them, turtle, or go lower to dig so they could sit up. So to understand all what you wanna do. And then I will also show you maybe fourth one, what we know so far. Okay, let's try, five minutes. So, and I will give you now a bonus, and it might turn be, to be bad. But it's fun to ruin my classes. I did, I think, oh, okay job till now. And so it's, if you plummet, then it's okay, you know? But I wanna try because I wanna learn how to teach it better. So uh, that's the, that's the trade-off. Uh, there has to be always like, like I wanna learn how to teach it better. So I have to risk certain methods. Explain differently, I'm risk uh, by making the glass bad, okay? So, uh, baby reach also works when turning inwards. But I would still say the hawking is in the middle, yeah? But we're skipping the hawking because we don't know it yet at the moment, yeah? In this, in this class. So we only have that baby bridge. So now when they're actually getting us flat, so in precursories, we're gonna skip the hawking. So it's gonna be a really big move because we have a hawking and then we do the baby bridge. So I'm gonna just show it. And this is like a fresh idea, but it seems to work. And uh, also, maybe you, you have seen UFC, there's a new champion, yeah? There was a Dexter Clo Clovera, Clo Clover, mm -hmm. and against some, I always, always call it some Czech guy, you know? And I know Czech people, they got really mad, like, what do you mean the, that Czech person? Uh, because I don't know his name. Anyway, so he survived the Clover Dexter uh, side, side, con uh, side control, side shock, arm triangle, and by turning in. So there's a, it's actually harder angle, so it's easier when you have a seat belt to push your shoulder in, so to speak, what with it, yeah? To go inside the choke, like, you know, some of the guillotines, you stack into guillotine. Of course, be better, you know, better is to pull the head out, but if you're already too much in, it's very dangerous to pull your head out, you guillotine yourself. So, but going into guillotine more, you know, in triangles, going into the triangles more, stacking the triangle. So this is all like, we're pushing the elbow. So shoulder out, we're stacking the side control. We're making ourselves bigger. And then when we widen the seat belt, now we made the trap wider. And now it's maybe easier to go other side. Because if the trap is so small, going to turn into that, I get side shocks. Okay, so widen it. And then maybe if I feel that, maybe I turn. Or you do it very early also. So, uh, Francesco? Yep. If it's, uh, so what I mean is, uh, let's do it this side. This side. So I turn into that. So what I mean is this. So if I do my thing right, you know, with Hawking and all baby bridge, they try to make me flat. So now the baby bridge, this side. I turn inwards. Elbow is in a mask and they never get it back in. Yeah? And then, you know, whatever happens, that go back. So squeeze a little bit. So here. And then now if I go, now I get tapped. Yeah? So the trap, wait, the trap has to be wider. Even, wait, start with baby ridge. Yeah. Now if I feel they wanna make me flat, they have to create space for that. I have to feel it that there, there's a space. And now I handle them and I baby ridge. An elbow on a mat. And then now it's a, like a full extension, you can do it. You can do this. Trap the elbow really heavy and then you just roll and we have a fight. So. Just try, first I would say, try the baby reach, you're here, and then do that with the baby reach with the hip extension. The elbow goes quite high. Okay, so try this, and do it from the baby reach to baby reach. 
So do this, they drag you like, specially they give you space, they wanna drag you, resist, and then if you turn, don't close it because they're just trying this, yeah? Don't be a smart ass. Oh, I would choke you. Just let them do it. Let them turn from baby to baby, yeah? Or a full extension, you feel it. And you have to get your elbow on a mat. That's also very good defense. So sometimes also you can do this, but certain cases you can also free your elbow like this. And then just the same thing, and then you fight for top. Because the ending is unrealistic because there's gonna be a wrestling fight a little bit. Because he's not gonna stay just in the side to me like this. So feel it, try it, baby reach, full extension, and then, you know, let them pull and turn in very slowly. And if, I know you wanna do it fast, so I give you allowance. So uh, do two times slowly, do one time fast. Because I know you wanna, ah, you wanna do, try it. So do the accepted ratio, two times, yeah? Slow, very technical, one time go. Don't hit them in the head, yeah? Because if you just roll, you're gonna go boom, yeah? We're not in MMA, so. so. It's really like opening already and the elbow goes usually away from them. So be careful about that, yeah? So let's try it. We have six minutes, so we might do it. Let's go. Okay. Actually, most of you did a good job. If I watched it, you got the point. Now it's just, you know, you have to widen the trap, go in because also try, if the trap is smaller, go in, you feel, oh, I get it stuck. Yeah, and then you know, you just have to feel, and then you have to feel their body motion a little bit, you know, what they do, because they have to know now as a side choke doer, that uh, when you flat them down, you have to be ready for baby risk coming. So all this defense is one of the best ways to make arm triangle better, because you learn to control uh, the person that has the optimal defense. Okay, understand? Otherwise, it's just you're, you're fighting people who has no idea how to defend side choke, and then you think your side choke is good. It's very dangerous to think on a mat you're good when you're not. So then you have this. When you're pushing, be ready for pulling them back because they've got a turtle, so you adapt. They know you want to sit up. They know you want to turn into you with hawking or baby rich. So you control them all the time. And finally, you know, dig deeper, dig deeper, control all the direction, and finally you submit. But you have to know what's the optimal defense for all directions. Okay, and just one thing uh, about underhooks, uh, Francesco. I think it's very dangerous to underhook the hip. It's usually you underhook the stuff that's your, your own level in a body wise. Go this way. So don't get used to, what we're turning to you. Don't get used to this, because they will step over. Go. And then you're done, okay? So that's really a problem in jiu-jitsu, thank you. That people are also in side control. They're underhooking the hip, uh, themselves being low and people put knee and bellies and stuff. You kind of, very simple rule for beginners also, is underhook the same level. You're here, underhook the knee bend, and now wrestle. If you do this, people jump over it, you know, the knee and belly, mount, everything, all platas, stuff. It's very, very dangerous. You usually do movement pattern, kick them in a the butt, knee level, leg up, leg to the shelf, and off you go, yeah? So that's kind of wrestling. So underhook is really, really, I, I see it all the time, people roll with high underhooks. It's just, it's very, very dangerous. You, you really have to know what you're doing. You can box arms down if you know what you're doing, but you don't teach it to beginners. Yeah, you can do a lot of stuff yourself. So, what else? Uh, so, that's why defense is awesome, because right now you also learned stuff about the arm triangle. You learned about control, and then you add the finish to it. But you have to know how, what is realistic, not like what beginner would do. What would intelligent defense look like, and then how do we beat it? It's not like side choke, arm triangle won't work. But show me the uh, optimal you know, defense, and then let's beat it. Like, that's what boxing works, yeah? Everything is optimal, everything works, and now we still beat it. It's not like good defense ruins stuff. But defense is very, very important. Otherwise, it's very, very hard to get good in submissions. Uh, Dennis also talks about, talks about leg locks, false positives, you know? Because people don't do defense, they freak out when you grab the heel, and then you think you're good leg locks. By defense, you're actually forcing them to understand everything. So that it has to be like, boop, 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 boop. Okay, so it's one o'clock, so we have a group picture. Uh, and then, thank you, I hope you enjoyed the camp. And now, I let you clap. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. This is also good, but now, because every time, even in Iceland, I did this, go. And the people were like, oh, oh shit, because it was sign, just go. And now I do this. We did it in Iceland also, so anyway.
uh, if you think you know my class was good or if you think camp was decent good that you're happy to come here so we do one two and clap yeah one two <laughs> That's a fine finish. <laughs>